All right, so uh, probably a month or so ago, we talked about YouTube announced their kind of um, subscription thing where you could subscribe and you got rid of ads. Yeah. And uh, they, when they announced it, pointedly, they didn't announce a price. They said, yeah. we're going to do this thing, but that's really all they said. And now we're, we're a couple of months down the road, and we haven't really heard anything else about it. People are starting to speculate, what does that mean? Is this going to happen? When yeah. they've done subscription services before, they haven't been very good. Um, so is that what they're running into? Or are they just not getting buy-in from content creators? They're certainly some backlash right now from from advertisers and from brands who are saying you're you know one you you co-opted my ability to do directly branded content with content creators mm -hmm. and two you're taking away now you're going to be taking away my advertising for anybody who's paying you yeah um so and that's a you know as we've said several times that's a that's a major or uh, major customer segment for yeah. youtube is the advertisers yeah um so you know what like what what do you think YouTube is up to? You know, it, it, are are they a big company? So it's just taking a while. Do you think they're having problems with with buy in from these major segments? Kind of what do you think is going on with it? all of the above? Um, the the advertising point's a huge one, right? I mean, you know, the end user is not YouTube's customer. Yeah. The advertiser is YouTube's customer, and and I, I, can't, I imagine that there had to have been backlash from this, like. You know, and maybe that's why they did it the way they did it, right? Because they, they didn't really... Did they actually announce subscriptions, or was it them releasing, like, surveys and getting people's opinions? How'd this go? They, 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 posted, right? a, the, they posted a blog. They so they were they talking. They were going to do it. They, right? had a, they had a EULA, remember? People had to sign. Oh, yeah. And then, like, the next contract for a yeah, YouTube okay. partner was, like... Yeah. So, you have to be... You know, you're going to... There may be a subscription service. Yeah, and... If there is, you miss how it works. I think a lot of it is is probably, you know, bean counting, right? They're figuring out the trade-off. Okay, if we disenfranchise these advertisers, are we going to recoup that through direct sponsorship, you know, direct mm -hmm. subscription? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. They don't really know. I don't think they really know. I don't know how you can know. Like, what's right. the, I don't know what the mathematics around that is. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure that's a big factor in the decision. Another, yeah, they're big. You know, it moves mm -hmm. slowly. And, yeah. And, you know, they're still releasing, I think, just this week, right? They put out, like, 10 new features they're done for creators sure. and stuff. I mean, yeah. they're doing stuff. Right. Yeah. You know, it's just, I think the problem with the subscription service isn't so much a technical aspect. It's mm -hmm. figuring out how it fits with their ad model and, right. and mm -hmm. what it's going to do. You know, the last thing you want to do is, like, release a subscription service, mm -hmm. and it works pretty well, but then suddenly your bottom line is dwindled based on the loss in advertising. Yeah. So, right, you know, sure. it's, it's, it's juggling all that. Right. Yeah. So it may, it may never happen for that reason. I don't know. Yeah. Right. And or I... It may have, sorry, no, go ahead. Go for it. I was just saying it may happen differently mm -hmm. than, you know, it may happen by vertical. You know, yeah. there's like the music subscription service that mm -hmm. is out or is almost out or I've, we, I We, like, it's, it's apparently experiencing delays. We don't... I, well, it's because, no offense to YouTube, but the original version of this was just going to like screw all of the artists. <laughs> right. It was a bad deal. It was yeah. bad. You know, right. and I think there was a big backlash to their... Credit, they didn't just go, well, sucks to be you, we're YouTube, and we're yeah. going to push you through it. You know, I think, in my opinion, and based on my interactions with YouTube mm -hmm. people, they're pretty, th you know, they've been very thoughtful about how their stuff, like, plays with the people that mm -hmm. matter, the content creators, the ad revenue people, uh, the brands. Uh, I, I could imagine them launching these things vertical by vertical, like, mm -hmm. you could subscribe to... Gaming.youtube.com, yeah. music.youtube, you know. Like, it's a smarter play, I think. Yeah, and then just like in general, you can't, you know, just subscribe to YouTube. I don't, you know, maybe that's the way they'll they'll do it. I could see that. That might be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's still weird to me that they're not considering a, you know, subscription button for, I mean, maybe they are, but yeah, as a part of this, we haven't heard any rumors of right. like subscription for a particular content creator. Sure. Um, that's interesting. Um, I don't know. So... I imagine they're being thoughtful about it. Mm -hmm. I also think they are big, and it takes a while. Sure, um, but we'll see. I think I think I think the least of their worries is like upsetting the content creator as mm -hmm. much as it is upsetting their like ad revenue sure. because they don't really make like they pour every cent that they make back into YouTube, mm -hmm. and I just can't imagine that they would just jeopardize that revenue stream. Right, and I think you're right. I think. 
So at the time that they announced this, right, um, Vessel was starting to get a lot of press. Mm -hmm. um, Vimeo had made a couple of changes to the way that they did subscriptions and the way that they did pay for content. Yeah. Um, and so for me, I think that this move was very much based on this idea that at some point we may have to compete with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and say we're going to compete with this so that we leave our options open. I don't yeah. know. I don't know that they, they were actively working on any sort of functionality. I don't know that they were, especially with what we've seen them announce since then. Yeah. Um, I mean, they had just announced kids. They've now announced gaming. I mean, I think that um, that from a development standpoint, from a, from a product standpoint, I think they were focused on other things. I think I really do. I really do believe that they saw Vessel and they saw Vimeo and they said, "Okay, the other the others are going this direction. Right. We might as well let our content creators know that we might go in this direction yeah, too, yeah. if it proves viable and we have to compete with." I buy it as a maybe play. Like, yeah, it's yeah. Just, just like a future proofing thing. Yeah, that's you know, interesting. Yeah. That's a good perspective. Um, maybe we'll see it. Maybe we won't. I don't yeah. know. I think yeah. it, you know, I just. YouTube, we've said already, YouTube has a much harder time going in that direction because of the huge advertising right. income. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, and, and also, I mean, the the idea, and we've talked about this before, the idea that YouTube is free. Yeah. Um, the idea that it's ad-supported and the idea that, like, that I can just use ad blocker and get everything now. Yeah. Um, and so, Stop doing so that. there's yeah. <laughs> right, but there, so there's this this yeah. idea of it's hard to skip it after three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's this idea from fans that like I can already get this all all this stuff without ads if I want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, I don't really need to subscribe to get it without ads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, I think YouTube is probably looking at it and going, "Is any are the majority of people who don't want the ads are really gonna?" Really going to subscribe to us anyway? Yeah, yeah, I think the stronger play, um, we'll see if YouTube steals this idea from me. But I mean, they've got their streaming coming out. It needs to be a channel level subscription. And subscribing at the channel level needs no to doubt. give you some kind of additional benefits for that channel. Maybe yeah. maybe your comments get ranked better or, or mm -hmm. something. Like you get yeah. some kind of extra thing. Yeah. You know, that's. Emoticons. Yeah, right? I wonder who's done that before. <laughs> uh, which is YouTube specific, like some YouTube specific thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because it. it you know, it subverts the entire idea of well, if I want to, if I want to avoid advertisements, I'll just use an ad blocker. Or, sure. You know, yeah. why do I want to give my money to all of YouTube? They're, they don't want ads in my face. I don't want to yeah. give them money. Like you go straight to oh well, I'm gonna go to this creator that's that I want to give them money, yeah. which sounds remarkably like another business that's you know <laughs> really focused on that. If you guys are interested, uh, but, right. but you know, so like <laughs> it, it's this it's this idea that if, if they go toward the creator, it, it gets rid of a lot of the the issues surrounding. Mm. The advertisements and right. how they produce yeah. their money and the belief that YouTube should be free and all this right. stuff. Yeah, you know, because if you go against the grain, then it's like, what? You don't want creators to support themselves? Yeah, You're a jerk. You know, yeah. so right. uh, we'll, we'll we'll see if they do it. I don't know. I hope they don't. Yeah, personal opinion. Uh, yeah. But we'll see what happens. Right. right. I you know I don't I don't know I don't know whether YouTube is thinking that direction. We just we have no indication there. No. And it would have been Pure, really easy. Conjecture. It would have been really easy when they announced YouTube Gaming too. Even if even if they weren't going to release it yet, to say also we're going to do a we're going to do a channel level subscription for gamers. We're going to do a, a yeah. stream level subscription for for gamers as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, something like that. It, it would have been it would have been really easy to just do that. And yeah. They didn't do it. Yeah. Um, so I mean maybe you're holding that back as kind of a cherry on top, but on the other hand, you just announced this whole new focus on gaming. Why not? Why not focus on gaming the way that other people focus on gaming? Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, especially since you're not really doing anything that, and I I know they're doing innovative things from a technology side, but from a from a yeah you know, business side, from a philosophy standpoint, they're not really doing anything yeah. innovative. And yeah. so. And, and heads up, YouTube, Twitch is real close to watching their HTML5 <laughs> streaming. I mean, yeah, I think they, they, yeah, they launched their HTML5 chat like yesterday. Yeah, I played with it a little bit. Yeah, I, I dug around in the in the code a little bit to see how it was working. That's cool. Powered by Ember. It looks oh, yeah. like on the front end. Yeah, that's cool. Cool thing is. Well, it's like I mean, website. Yeah, and website. they said in that blog, it was like this is on our roadmap. You know, this is our to get to fully HTML5 web you know, oh, streaming. Yeah. They have you know? to. Yeah, and so, I mean, I, I, I envision them doing HTML5 streaming and getting to feature parody as close as they can to YouTube. So things like playback, yeah, uh, you know, the live stream. If they don't have that done by TwitchCon, I'd I just be don't see really it. surprised. Yeah, I mean, I don't right. see them not finishing it. At least, or 
if it's not done by Twitch, I'm like announcing it there. Yeah. This will be here next week, you know, yeah. really soon. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's got to happen. I feel like it's going to happen. And re- look, look, we've said it before. This you, and this is off topic a little bit, but the YouTube streaming versus Twitch streaming is going to devolve into a race for partners. It's yeah. going to happen. I'm telling you, YouTube is going to announce some competing business model with Twitch, and it's just going to be a race for partners. Yeah. Like, ah, that's it. You know, yeah. and the, the end result of that benefits the streamer. So yeah, that's great, but that's, that's where I see it going. I, I just, I think that it's a, I think that's a possibility. I really think that YouTube is the guy who runs who runs gaming for YouTube is, sure. is an esports guy. Yeah, like I really think they are they are focused on esports as a as a vertical, and that that their streaming service everything they everything they built is around around making that kind of content. Easier to watch, better to watch. You can scrub back and forth. So if you want to go see a replay, you can real quick. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, and and esports is one of those is one of those areas where like you don't you can go after the teams. You you can you can partner the teams. You don't necessarily have to partner individual channels. Yeah. So it would be very easy for YouTube not to not to engage in a race for partners, but to to go for the teams and the casters and bring them all on board and then YouTube has YouTube is the king of esports and Twitch has the entertainment side. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could see I could see that being the competition. Who's gonna win the like is one of them gonna have Dota and one of them gonna have LOL and one of them has COD and one of them has CSGO like yeah, you yeah. know or or does one of them have you know Beyond the Summit and one of them has Star Ladder and one of them has ESL and like yeah. So uh, so you're seeing like a Exclusivity deals with with esports teams. I think so. Like, I, like, we'll I give all your is, people a better ad. I think that's yeah. the battleground that that YouTube wants. I think that's good. what they've said that they want. I think and, that's unless they're paying them directly, man. Your streamers, if there's no partnership program, I feel like you're leaving a ton of money on the table. Because I feel like partnership brings more money to the streamer than ads. See, generally. see, yeah. I think YouTube will pay for it. I think YouTube will pay oh, for yeah. it the I same way gonna, that ESPN gonna, yeah. does, or CBS, or NBC, or anybody. Yeah. They're gonna come. They're gonna come at it from a from a. We want to be the exclusive ones to handle LOL for this season of LOL. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna give you X amount of money to be the exclusive carrier of LOL. So yeah. who who are they going to? Are they going to the you know? I think they're going. People, I they think going they're to going. Teams? I think they're going to riot, but I think they're yeah. going to teams because there's a there's tons of content around practices. People like to watch practices. Yeah. People like to watch. Yeah. Um. You know these little tournaments that that they go to for you know to do scrimmages and crap. Yeah. Like you know there's all sorts of stuff you can you know, you can grab in yeah. in addition to grabbing riot for yeah. a season. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't think any of us know. Yeah, I mean, we're even divided. Both right. of those are. This seems like, 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 like well, I didn't think about the esports angle, but I think it, it makes sense. The or down. both. Yeah, or both. Or, or both. I think YouTube's yeah. leaving a lot of potential money on the table if they don't do a partnership program, and they're leaving potential money on the table leveraging a proven business model. Yeah, and to okay. me that seems like a bad idea. But esports. Also I mean, possible. I don't, I don't disagree, but I, I also think like as as esports becomes more and more not legitimate, but becomes more and more like like Main, the kind mainstream. Of, well, like the kinds of. <laughs> Brings in the kinds of money that other other yeah, sports yeah. do. Look at look at soccer for crying out loud. Yeah. And how much yeah. how much money that generates enough yeah. to pay players hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. Like as esports starts to starts to hit those kind of numbers, if you are in there as the media play, like if you are YouTube and you've taken LOL away from uh, not just Twitch but ESPN, yeah, like. Uh, you sit. You sit to to gain all of that ad revenue, yeah, all of sure. that brand sponsorship, all of the everything that comes with yeah. media rights to a major sport. Yeah. Yeah. The ad play makes a lot of sense for YouTube. It really does. Like, like that's what they know. Yeah. That's how they yeah. work. And if they can capture just, big events, it makes sense. It, it fits sense. them. It yeah. fits what they do. Yeah. It fits them as a as a media service. Yeah. 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 That's and it's it's kind of. I mean, Twitch serves ads, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. But that angle's a little outside of their wheelhouse, I think. Yeah. Security, well, they serve, they big serve deals like, like that. One they, ad yeah, for yeah, a stream, and, unless the streamer does one, you know? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. That, that, mm. I would be a, that, it's fun to see how that would play out. Yeah. Um, I, would, I don't know. Part of me would hate to see streamers themselves getting locked into, well, it's got to be on YouTube. You know, that's, the, that's the deal. Well, they're, they're locked well, into Twitch now. Yeah, they just, yeah. There isn't another place for them to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, they're locked into Twitch, but at least they're getting paid if they're partnered. You know, like sure. getting paid directly, not some weird compensation salary deal based off ad revenue and, oh, well, Riot got paid a crap ton of money, so then Riot's right. paying me because I'm a player. Yeah. You know, but like, 
Yeah, or Riot's but, paying my team, my team's paying me. Well, yeah. but most of the teams have significant sponsor, significant brand sponsorship. Right. Yeah. Like most of them, I think, I think the casters and the teams are making most of their money not off, not off subs. But oh off, yeah, or as yeah, off it's off totally brands, brand partnership, uh, sure. which wouldn't change. I don't, yeah. I don't think YouTube. Now they have come in and co-opted content, but I don't think they would change the the ecosystem around. All right. Let's put a bow on this. Yeah. We have no idea what's going to happen. But something is <laughs> going to happen. Something's going to happen. Something, right. something, something sort of bold claim. Something yeah. will happen. Time, Generic bold claim. Time will continue to move One forward. of us will probably be correct, <laughs> or some mixture of both. That's right. It's probably some mixture yeah. of both, truthfully. Yeah.